Ronnie O'Sullivan once gave his honest take on Prince Harry after he stepped down from his royal role, claiming he has done a runner during a throwback interview. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 46, returns to the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield tonight for the semi-finals of the World Championship. The Rocket set up a mouth-watering clash with John Higgins as he overcame Stephen Maguire on Wednesday. World number 1 O'Sullivan outclassed his opponent in a swift 13-5 win that included a total clearance of 126. Higgins' progression to the final four was much more tense as he eked out a narrow victory over Jack Lasowski. The veteran made breaks of 105 and 72 as he battled back from 12 to 11 down to secure match 13 to 12. A Sullivan and Higgins match will be shown on BBC Two this evening as they compete for a place in the final against either Judd Trump or Mark Williams. Six-time world snooker champion O'Sullivan is known for his unpredictable nature on and off the table, as well as giving colourful interviews. One such encounter came in August 2020 as the snooker race discussed Prince Harry stepping away from his royal role, claiming he had done the runner. O'Sullivan gave his honest take on the situation as he was quizzed after beating Thep Chiyuan Nu 10-1 in the first round of the World Championship. In a wide-ranging post-match chat, he said, Prince Harry has done a runner. He doesn't want the spotlight. I've been trying to do that all my life. That's why you don't see me at the venue much. I try to keep as much privacy as I can. His remarks came after Harry and his wife Meghan Markle announced in a statement in January 2020 that they were to step back as senior royals. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex subsequently settled in California and agreed with the Queen that they would not return to the royal family as working members. In his interview O'Sullivan compared the pressure of snooker to that felt by Harry's brother Prince William, the future king. He said, I've had pressure since the age of 10 or 11. An expectation level that I'd be a champion one day. So, I suppose in many ways, it's like Prince William being groomed to be king. If you said to me, would you want Prince William's role? I wouldn't know where to begin. But he has had it since a child and it has become natural I suppose. For me, that's the same metaphor for snooker. I've learned to deal with pressure, playing under pressure in the amateur and pro ranks. The Rockets' abilities on the table have been analyzed ever since he made his first 147 clearance aged 15. O'Sullivan, who is often named as the greatest player of all time, was honored by the Queen in 2015. The star received an OBE for his services to snooker from the monarch in her New Year list of honors. O'Sullivan thanked the Queen for the prestigious accolade, as well as his family and friends who have supported him over the years. He said, I am extremely grateful for this recognition which is a great honor and has made both myself and my family very proud. However, just two years earlier, O'Sullivan had claimed that he should not be a recipient of the royal honor. He said at the time, it would be a disgrace to give it to someone like me. I'm just not that type of guy, am I? As long as I am loved by my fans and my public, and when I die people might still have a look on YouTube and say, this guy played the game better than anyone who ever played, then for me that is better than anything. Queen Elizabeth reportedly noticed how unhappy Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were with royal life, and, although she was genuinely very conflicted about their decision to step down from their official duties, she also wanted to be supportive.